Mr. Chairman, your commissioners, uh, your CEO. Um, we are very, very happy to have you here today. And I'd like to start, uh, Chief Justice, on behalf of the Department of Justice, by thanking you for your very timeous response to the request that the commissioner should be sworn in immediately so that they can get to work this afternoon and hopefully they will spend the weekend familiarizing themselves with their task. Thank you, Chief Justice. Uh, Chairman, your commissioners, welcome to this very, I don't think you need to hear it from me, <laughs> a difficult assignment, but that, that has to be done. And destiny has chosen you uh, to succeed the previous commission and carry forward this mantle. Uh, we are proud in this country that we are a democracy that is 50 years old, that has had its own challenges. Sometimes uh, we walk fast, sometimes we stop and don't walk at all, sometimes we go back a little bit, but we have never stopped moving forward. Uh, your challenge is to take over and take us through, uh, the phrase has been used by the Republic of Kenya will be able to say in uh, 2017, uh, September or, or August, that uh, we are satisfied that this team did a good job. For my part, on the part of my pa uh, other colleagues, uh, we stand ready, able, and willing, as your secretary will inform you. We are always a phone call away to help you, to assist you, but not to interfere with your uh, uh, free exercise of your authority. Before I sit down, I would like to say, on behalf of all the public servants trying to make uh, this process as uh, as efficient as possible, we would like to appeal to the politicians not to attack public officials when they are exercising their functions because it is demoralizing and because it uh, interferes with the independence of those offices. Uh, I hope, Mr. Chairman, that you and your commissioners will immediately implement the part of the law that requires you to be satisfied that candidates meet the integrity test that is in the Constitution. That is a mandate that you must not take lightly. And number two, that you will discipline all persons who are in violation of, of the electoral process long before we get anywhere near the election. That is my challenge to you. Now, Chief Justice, it gives me the greatest pleasure or is that? No, 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 it's not my job, I am told.